So ever since I finished the Akatar series earlier last month, I have been on a fantasy kick and it just so happens that Book Outlet was having a huge $5.99 sale on all fiction books. I think there's only two here, two or three here that I probably got from a little free library or Facebook marketplace. And here is my haul. Throne of Glass. I only have three books so far. So the first one I ever got was Assassin's Blade. I got it from Facebook marketplace for I think about $5. Pristine condition. I don't think the seller ever read it. So then I got Crown of Midnight and Throne of Glass original one. And it's in pristine condition. Like there's no mark. What I did do here for Crown of Midnight just to play around with it is I put some of these little book corners and I think it looks so cool. So I have it in the back as well. This is silver. I have copper, bronze, gold, rose gold, and silver. And it looks so cute. Next I got the Carrie Maniscalco Kingdom of Feared series. I think it's a trilogy. I think it's already done. For my library sales section, this was like, I think a dollar. The Kingdom of Cursed and then the Kingdom of Feared from Book Outlet. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see. Next, I got the Light Lark and Nightbane series. So a friend of mine gave this to me just as a gift. She read this already. She didn't have Light Lark for some reason. I went ahead and bought Light Lark. Pretty sure there's a third one coming out. I hear that that's 50-50. I hear like half the people like it and half the people don't. We shall see which half I'm in. The Legendborn series. And one's a hardcover. This is, what is this? This is Bloodmarked and it's huge. And then this is Legendborn. I don't think I've ever heard anything bad about this. Like everyone who's read this all loved it. So I have really high hopes. I think I will be part of the majority. I think I'm just gonna like it as well. I don't know if that's gonna stay. <laughs> so I got this Woven Kingdom and these Infinite Threads. These are both from Book Outlet. I'm pretty sure there's a third one that just came out, but I don't have it. So I'm gonna start with these two. I actually lent out the House of Salt and Sorrows to a friend right now, so she's reading it. And I got the second one. First of all, can we just, can we just look at the cover? Look, it's iridescent, it's gorgeous. She is the moment. And I hear so many good things about Erin Craig. She's kind of like the spooky horror, but cutesy fantasy cottage vibes. Trial of the Sun Queen and the rule of the Aurora King. A friend over at TikTok said that she really liked the second one. It gets a lot better. I actually have Neon Gods a long time ago, a few months ago from a library book sale. Everyone told me that Electric Idol has a plus size, character representation. I want to get more into it so I'm excited for this one. This one actually has a Target sticker. I forgot to take it off. I need to get a hair dryer and just zzz. Found this at the Little Free Library, The Inheritance Game. I think this is book number one. I do not have the Hawthorne Legacy or the Final Gambit. I just want to read this first before I get the other two. If you already saw my TikTok, you already saw my video of what's under the dust jackets of these hardcovers and they're gorgeous. Throne of the Fallen from Carrie Maniscalco. She big. She's big. Like, I have a really big head. <laughs> I have a really big head, and this book is bigger than my head, and that's insane. Then, just as big, I got Rule of Wolves. To be honest, I've never read any of them, but I kind of want to just pick up one and just see if I can get into it. It's gorgeous. Like, like, look at that. I'm currently reading The Cruel Prince, my book club's pick for this month. A lot of people really like the Elfheim uh, universe. Scratch that. A lot of people commented on my TikTok and they're so divided. We'll see which side I'm on. I'll let you guys know. But I got The Stolen Air, which is part of the Elfheim universe. I got Foxglove. I do not have Belladonna. They actually have Belladonna on sale, but I got sold out real quick. So I got Foxglove first. Look how gorgeous this book is. Oh my gosh. I can only imagine how pretty the Belladonna one is. I might read the ebook for Belladonna and then I'll get into Foxglove and see if I want to buy the hardcover version of Belladonna. My last hardcover is Jennifer Armentrout's Fall of Ruin and Wrath. I think this recently got released and this is the first one of her series so there's really nothing to follow up yet. So once I read this, if I like it, I will definitely follow through with the rest of her series. And then I got The Foxglove King by Hannah Witten. One of my pet peeves, okay, look at the edge of the pages. Like, I don't know what they're called, but the raw edges, I'm not a fan. I don't like it. So it's a big book and I got big hands too. So don't let this fool you. Don't think this is like a small book. No, 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 it's big. Then I got this from a little free library. This is Three Dark Crowns. I think it's the first book. Yeah, she got One Dark Throne. Young adults book, I think. So I think it's gonna be easy to read for me. I uh, will see if I like it. 
And then I got Scythe. It's pretty much like a world with no hunger, no disease, no war, no misery. Humanity has conquered all those things and has even conquered death. So now Scythes are the only ones who can end life and they're commanded to do so in order to keep the size of the population under control. Maybe living in a perfect world does not seem so perfect and it does come with a price. Is it just me or do you ever sit around with your friends and I'm like, in an ideal world, what would you like? If you can have a perfect world, what would it be? So maybe this book will give me a little insight to what it would be like if none of these things happen. But let me know if you read this. I'm really excited for this one. Then I got Bookshops and Bone Dust. I heard about this book from Claudia Jesse when she goes, she's reading Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. And I go, oh cool, I kinda wanna know who this Travis Baldry is. All they had on Book Outlet was Bookshops and Bone Dust. I'm not sure if this is an interconnected series or you have to read them in order. We got God Killer. This is a tiny, tiny book. I did not know how tiny, like, but the words are even smaller. First of all, look at the text. 288 pages so you can kind of count this as a novella I guess I haven't heard anything about this I just really like the cover so if anyone read this let me know if it's good two four six eight ten twelve 27 books definitely do not sleep on book outlet the quality is great there's no marks some of them you do get some misses like where they put a little marks here but honestly the quality is great i do have a referral code i'm not getting paid for this or sponsored but if you use my referral code i think you get some money off of your first purchase and i get some points or some money for my next purchase all right thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time bye what they don't show you when they're showing you a haul book video. You gotta put everything back.